So we've got uh, Albo went to a wedding, and um, oh, where do we start with this one, James? Well, yeah, he went to the uh, wedding of Sydney radio host Kyle Sanderlands, yes. um, who is a contentious figure uh, who's been involved with an awful lot of broadcast controversies over the years, and everybody has played it off like it's no big deal, and. All I have to say is, you hypocrites! <laughs> because if Scott Morrison had ever attended the wedding of somebody who had said half the controversial things, and we don't need to go through all of them now, but there's a lot of them, um, he would be tarred with that brush forever, asked, is it appropriate, this, that, the other thing. And you know what, with Albanese, says, oh, no, that's fine. You know, much of the press corps just simply doesn't care. They're giving him a free pass on this one, Rita. Absolutely. And I've got to say, personally, I have absolutely no issue with him wanting to be at Carl Sanderland's wedding. He is a massive radio star. Every politician wants to get close to him. So he's not the first. He won't be the last. But that hypocrisy from the press is what gets you. Because, you know, if this was ScoMo, every controversial thing that had ever happened on that radio program, every controversial thing Carl Sanderland had said... Scott Morrison would have to personally disavow and distance himself from and he'd be painted as some sort of a uh, misogynist or something for, for being there. The fact that, you know, there were convicted drug dealers there, again, I don't have an issue with that, but you could be sure the press would have. Mm -hmm. We had two elections in Victoria where this entire notion of lobster with a mobster came up with Matthew Guy because he happened to be, I think, at the lobster cave with some right. colourful characters. Um, so this... Uh, double standard that st uh, exists in our media is just so in your face. They're so unashamed about it, the bulk yeah. of the media. Well, I think you're right there, and I think the key, a couple of key things here. Um, Albanese, by the way, uh, Kyle is a big Outsiders fan. Did you Ooh, know no. that? Yes, Ooh. well, there you go. Sorry, Kyle, I'm putting words, telling secrets out of class. Um, but the reality is we support the idea that anyone should be able to go along and see whoever they want to go to the wedding. Fantastic. But it is the hypocrisy of the press. I'm glad Albanese went, but uh, as Rita and James said, you know, Dominic Perrottet was so scared he wouldn't even go to George Pell's wedding. Uh, funeral, sorry, wedding? <laughs> wedding. That, that would be well, good. That, 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 that would have been the one you had to go that to. George Pell's new. wedding was something really special. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Wrote, but the reality would've... is this game of it linking people by by dots, you know, so and so went to this, and they know that, and they tweeted this about them. Only ever runs against conservatives. It never runs against. And them. remember when you know Scott Morrison was prime minister? You know, some friend of the family had some tenuous links to QAnon or some sort yep. of thing like that, and somehow this became some huge scandal for the whole ABC Guardian type. Oh, and this is the thing. This is the thing about outsiders. We do not support cancel culture. We do no. not support this whole idea that Albo should be canceled for going to a wedding. But what we do do is call out the utter hypocrisy of those who would smash a liberal PM for doing exactly what this Labour PM is doing. Let's have a listen to Albo as he uh, got uh, bailed up in Tas... Kyle and Tegan uh, have uh, a, a relationship and the thing that occurs is at a wedding is it's a public expression uh, in front of uh, people, invited guests of love between two people. That's a good thing. Well, it was well, nice of Albo to explain what a wedding is. I had no idea. I have no idea. Well, there you go. 